Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Alex. And today we're going to be talking about the exit and recovery phases of the stroke. Ideally, we want to make that movement from your exit to your setup as efficient as possible. And we're going to do that by simplifying our motions through the recovery phase. Okay, we're going to start with a little bit of an off the water drill. I have in my hand two props. We love props here. This is a foam roller. Many of you may use this in your day to day. This is a yoga bolster. You can feel it's a little bit heavier, but they're basically the same length. Okay, we're going to, this, this exercise is called throw the sandbag. So these are representing different weights of sandbags. When I throw the sandbag to Alex and she to me, we're going to go through that simple body movement. And the weight of the sandbag is going to force us to use our core. And it really well rep represents the motion of the exit and recovery. So here we go. And we'll review after this. You notice the position as Alex finishes the throw in. This is very representative of the setup position. Hips are forward, hands are in the proper position. As she goes through the motion, she has to use her core to get the throw happen. We're gonna add weight now and just force us to engage our core a little bit more, have a full body movement. Boom, nice throw Alex. Just to use her core. You can notice even at the beginning of her throw, her hands are very much in the position where we would be at our exit, right there, and boom. One more. Hold after the release. She holds after the release. This is very much what we're going to look like in the setup position. So we're going to continue with our drill. Alex is now seated. She's got the foam roller and she's just going to continue with that exit recovery. You can see in the seated position how it perfectly reflects the movements she wants out of her exit and recovery. Her hips are involved. Most importantly, her core and lower back are involved and her hands are perfectly in the positions they would be. That one came right into your living room. Um, her hands are in the exact positions they would be. She's now going to do this without releasing, just to show you that you can do this on your own at home. Same position. She's just got, all the foam roller has to be is something that's at about shoulder width. If you're doing it like this, it could be a hockey stick, it could be a golf club. Try not to smash your TV if you can avoid it. And she's, her body is just creating the power. Simple movements right up to the setup position which we talked about before. She's now gonna release the foam roller, grab her paddle, and she's now gonna, in her mind, think about throwing something. Throwing something right above your TV or your computer screen. She's gonna powerfully throw it. Remember that that power comes from her core. Notice that her hips drive forward. And it's just as though all she has in her mind is throwing the foam roller, throwing the sandbag, throwing the yoga bolster, whatever it is you want to throw, throw your husband, throw whatever it is that you think you need to throw to make your exit and recovery better. Now that we've done our drill and we know how to properly get from the exit position to the setup, we want to give you one more warning, one more thing that we see happening that we don't want our good powers out there to do. Alex is going to exit, but she's going to overextend too soon. Okay? This is very common. A lot, of, a lot of us out there are doing this. Alex is going to go back to the, the exit now. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to come up to the setup from our exit. Boom. Now she's in a setup position. She can now dictate where her catch is going to be. She can go down to the catch with momentum. The other example, the poor example, Alex is already out here. Typically what the drag motor does is they pull back before they catch. She's now catching, she's derotating before her catch. So let's, let's go over what not to do one more time. 
overextends, then she comes down to the water with no momentum into an improper catch position. We'll show what, what you should do now. You snap or throw that sandbag up to the setup, you come down to the catch in a great position, lots of momentum. Well done, Alex. You're great at what not to do, and you're getting better at what to do. So today, we learned about the exit and recovery phase of the stroke. We learned a new drill called throwing the sandbag to emphasize the simplicity of the motions through the recovery. We just like to emphasize, don't overextend coming out of your exit and going straight to the catch. And above everything else, remember to keep your motions simple. Paddles up. Boom.